Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my This War of Mine playthrough. Where I'm going to be trying to survive for 80 days, which is the longest possible period in the de uh, in the game. Um, we're on to day four, I believe. Loading. Um, loading. Yeah, I think we're on to day four. The first three days went all right. I've not been raided yet, so that's going for me. I have enough food, I think, to supply everyone with food for the next few days. And I think I've got enough scrap to start actually building stuff and getting stuff worked. Alright. Day four, yes. <coughs> so here goes nothing. Hello, look at this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Ah. Just as I said, we haven't been raided. Oh, for goodness sake. That is a lot of stuff we're missing. Does it bring back any food? Uh, I need to do that more often. Catcher is feeling much better. I didn't realise she wasn't feeling alright, actually. So that's strange. So you're just... Okay. This seems like a very strange little thing. You know, you can sleep. You do that. <coughs> and you're Marin. You can build stuff, because you're better at building stuff. Um, they stole all my water. Ah! <coughs> uh, um, let's see if I can build something to make me water. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to try and last the day without food. <laughs> Which is really not very useful. Okay, that needs that. Ooh. Um, it's a toss up between <coughs> boarding up everywhere and saving for the rainwater. I think I'm going to start boarding up. I mean, boarding up will mean I'm less likely to get looted and lose as much stuff as I did then. But, rainwater collector is going to be useful in the long run. Because I always need water. But I need so much water, it's probably better me trading for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start boarding up. Yeah. Go. Okay. So as long as I can start having things boarded up ready, everything should be alright. I should not be polluted anymore, and I should be able to survive for these 80 days. Oh, it's only day 4. 76 days to go. Uh, let's have a look at what else I can build. I mean, I'm already running out of things. Um, I think I'm alright with my tools at the moment. And I have a knife. You have one, you have one, you have two, you have one. That is all great. <clears throat> Capture bargaining skills. Let's hope someone comes and I can trade the water. If not, I am going to just have to let these pe poor people starve for the day. You... Uh, Marin, you go over here and build stuff. Are you finished sleeping yet? No. Eventually, though, with this game, you end up with not much to do in the days, apart from wait for someone to turn up. Which, I suppose is alright, but... Now, the question is, do I want a radio? In all honesty, it doesn't cost much, and it's quite useful for increasing happiness, if anything has to happen. So I'm just going to go for that. You start building that. Marco, oh, okay, skill scavenger. Um, what else do I want to do? Oh, someone's coming. Uh, you. Catch you. Go and stand by the door, Eddie. Come on. Someone's at the door. Anyone there? I need help. Doesn't look like you're going to be giving me any water, isn't it? Hi there, neighbours. I live down the street and you're living in the suburban building. I've got some news. There's a humanitarian aid drop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know about one they missed. 
It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get to it, but under the cover of darkness we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is and you help me carry supplies, deal? Sure. That could be quite useful. Anyway, let's have a look at this. The rebel leader instructed us to warn listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Okay, I'm trying to work out what all these mean. So a desperate counterattack by the rebels trying to lift the siege of Corrigan. Pogoran. The city remains cut off. Government forces do not allow any aid to reach the city, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. Music is playing. Is there anything nicer than a warm sunny day? There probably is, but it doesn't hurt to appreciate the little things. So go outside and enjoy this weather. Okay, so it's not going to be winter for a while then. Let's just... Give some classical music playing. That's nice. So I'm down to three people while Catcher goes and helps. I know, I'm sorry. I can't do much about that. Now we start boarding things up, things should start improving. Okay, you slept. Okay. Oh, you're just tired. Okay. No. Yeah, you've had enough sleep. Um. Yes. Okay. And I feel like that's all I can do for today, as I don't have any water to cook the food. So, the night. Okay. Crippet squat, child school, it's all the same places I've been already. Before you were, you could have your car right there. It was decent, run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. I might just... Sleep in bed, guard. If I do that order, I'm gonna trade with this guy and get some decent stuff. Because he wants meds, so I can give him that sort of stuff. I'll keep one of those each for myself, but I'm sure I'll find some more over the next few days. <clears throat> I need to trade for food mainly and water. Food, water, and maybe some tools. No one's interested at the moment. Do I actually want to take all that stuff? This could be a bad thing, but I am going to go for it. I'm going to go for trading all of the stuff. And so be it if it bites me in the arse in the end. Okay. I mean, if Catcher comes back injured or wounded from going to get that humanitarian aid, I have just lost the game already. So let's hope that doesn't come the case. Hello there, gentlemen. Yes, you have food. You have water. Yes, you have water. This is great. You're perfect. Give you two of those. And you need a saw blade. I think it's just one saw blade for that place. Um, a whole load of food. We'll do try harder. Okay, so you're happy with those herbal meds. Okay, take as much water as I can. Take all the water. Fine, we have a deal. Can I take any scrap off you? That's... I'm going to save my bandages just in case she comes back injured. Can I get... That's fine. I feel like that is the most sensible thing to do. To get food, water, and a saw blade. Because I feel like I, I know I need a saw blade for one of the other places I've been. To get most of the good stuff. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Goodbye. Run away! So wait a second, if I look at my backpack... I still have space to pick up stuff, so I can have a bit of a nosy. Doobity doo! -do. Um, oh, rebel! Climb, climb, climb. There it is. I'm just worried about when I get later on in this game, where I'm going to have to try and make my way around quite dangerous areas. Because there can't be that many nice, safe areas left. And I don't really want to get everyone killed. So, anyway. 
uh, 16 scrap, 8 wood, 12 water. That's that's a good haul, actually. I'm I'm happy for today, and hopefully, Catcher brought some stuff back, and altogether we we'll have enough for everything. Then again, Catcher could not come back, which would be ruin my entire game. But anyway, I suppose it's one less less mouth to feed. Loading, loading, loading. Anyway, here we go. I'm hoping we've not been raided. I mean, with Roman on guard, they shouldn't be able to do much damage. Did a really good haul. Good. Have I been raided again? Please don't tell me. Good. Thank you, Catcher. That's perfect. Uh, let's have a look. Bios. Okay, room. I should probably read these. I never thought I'd end up running and hiding from my buddies. But that's how things turned out. We were like brothers, and now I'm a dead man to them. My crew has ruled the hood since we were teens, just before the war. Then some of us got drafted, like my best friend Leon. Others like me volunteered for the militia. It was going to be the ultimate showdown, and every single one of us wanted a piece of the action. His story. I was at the front line since the shit got serious. My unit was always the first to go in, and the last to get out. After I lost a quarter of my men, the elders decided we needed some more R&R. &R. That's how I wound up in Pog Pogoran, where all was quiet. It was not to last. Does R&R &R mean rest and relaxation? I'm guessing. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's look at Marin. Marin. Something broke? I can fix it. Any worthless trash lying around? I can make plenty of useful stuff out of junk. And I don't waste material. All of them. Parts, bits of wood, plastic pipes, and all the other th things. I know how to make tools, furniture, stoves, heaters, whatever. Given enough time, I can make this place look like a proper home. I wish it was equally simple with mine. Oh, you've got coffee now. You're a coffee drinker. And Ketcher brought back coffee. Well done. Ketcher. I grew up in this city, but went abroad to study and started working as a reporter. I've been away for years. When the troubles escalated into a war, I was picked to write reports on it. I'd have volunteered anyway. I was so anxious to check on my parents, but it was too late. I found my house in ruins. My family had disappeared. I've been looking for them ever since. Oh, you're also a coffee drinker. You brought back coffee for yourself, I see. Um, and Marco. I thought it. I thought I'd been through hell before. I'm a fireman. I've entered blazing buildings to save lives more than times than I care to remember. But back then I had people te teamed up against a common foe, namely the fire. Nowadays your former neighbour can kill you just because your grandparents spoke a different language than his. This is true hell on earth. Day 4. I am glad we could trade with those men. We could do it again. Oh, okay. So, oh yes, because you went and traded with them, so you're happy about that. Good. Um, Who needs to sleep? Um... I'm going to get you to sleep. You to eat first and then sleep. Because I could really do with you being alright in case... No, I think you need to guard every single night, really. So one of that. You're hungry and you can cook. Catch ya. You're hungry, tired and content. Marcos, good scavenger. Actually, you cook. You cook. Can I stop you? Please stop you. Uh, exit. You come down here. Maybe you can build another bed. Um, I know you haven't slept in some time. I'm trying to make beds. I only have one fuel, but I have enough water now. So this is all good. I think I only need one, though. I want for everyone to be fine. Good. I need a lot of wood for this, so I'm feeling it could be useful. Can I put one down there? Good. You carry on up there. You there. You hungry, content, and tired. You can eat that. Okay, this is what I like. Lots of people working together at once. Um, I'm gonna get you to sleep. I know you're tired as well, but now I've got two beds. 
I should be able to have two people sleeping so they can work the day. So you sleep, and you are just hungry, so you can only eat that last one. That is good. Or you can check the radio, and we can get things done quickly. Is it exactly the same? Looks like it is. Yes. Let's just leave it on the nice classical music. It's good that we help each other. Oh, okay. I obviously won't be reading it. How much things do we have left? We have some stuff. How much do I need to upgrade this? I have a feeling that's going to be the next important thing. Okay, I need a lot more of everything. But, luckily with him, I don't need as much more of everything. Anyway, I should wait a few more minutes in case someone arrives, then I'll go in tonight. So. Roman, trading contact, you're tired still. I see you, Marco. Doesn't look like anyone's coming. Anyway, let's go. Military outpost, brothel, uh, and then supermarket. The store supplied the whole neighbourhood before the latter turned into a war zone. This is the area under military control. Might be changed to the groceries there. Okay. The supermarket is probably the best place to get resources. I'm gonna send you. Let you two sleep, yes, that's worked. And you guard. Like that, good. That works. And I'm gonna make you take that, that, and that. I hope this means I can defend myself. I mean, I know that there is a situation here where you can find a guard, or not a guard, is a soldier trying to do questionable acts on a woman, and if you manage to kill him, you can get his gun. And it looks as if that is what I have here. Let's get this ready. If I look through here, yes. There we go. Perfect. I did it without getting hurt. I mean, at least I still have some bandages left in case that I did get hurt in this encounter, but I'd rather not use them. Perfect. Just grab all of it. That puts me in such a better position for guarding the base each day. Now just to grab as much else as I can. Grabbing some more water would be useful, actually. But if I don't, uh, that's not the end of the world. Here we go. I've done, I'm not in the position to make my own stuff yet, so... I feel like that is the most favourable thing. Let's have a look, see if I can scavenge any more materials. I mean, all these weapon parts are good. I think the moonshine is probably better as a trading implement. Than whatever else I was going to pick. Um, let's have a look here. Okay. Can I pick up anything from here? No. I'm just going to run to the exit. Um, so I think that that is everything for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching and ta -ra.